Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we will be doing another review of my entire dinosaur collection. Doing, you know, the same thing that we did last time. Where we will put the dinosaur in front of us in the, in the order that I got them. And give them a rating out of 10. Twist is... The person who's going to be rating them is... Uh, Me. Yeah, my sister. So my sister is going to be reviewing my dinosaurs now. And there are three new additions to my collection. Three new additions to my collection. But anyways, this is also a promo for my sister's new channel. By the time this video uh, uploads, it should be up. It's called uh, Minnow the Armadillo, right? Yeah, Minnow the Armadillo. Yeah. So, go subscribe to her. Uh, my sister is I'm very strange. choke on this water one day. Very right. strange. So, this time, we have a little reference thing. This dime will be the reference of where to put the dinosaur, and this quarter is there. We don't need it, so get out of here. Minnow will also be showing you the scan codes on their feet or in their backs, which is only for one of them. And, uh, yeah, oh my god, low battery, seriously. Freaking, hold on, low battery alert, there we go. Wait, did it stop the recording? No, it did not. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, so she's gonna be doing it in the same order, and three, a two, and a one. That's okay, good. Yeah. First up, the something, something devoured Indominus Rex. Now go ahead, toy around with it, show them the action features and stuff. Okay. And give them your rating. So, uh, so like, she can do like, I think four different rolls? Three. Three. I don't know. Uh, but, we can also do that. I guess he's like flexing or something. It's supposed to be like a cross. So oh, so if, like that, yeah. and then... It could like grab things and slash them with its giant middle finger claw. Oh, okay. Don't forget to show them the throat. Oh, yes, the throat. So, the throat is a actual throat, if you can't tell. And there's that little thingy-majig down there, right up there. It's like a button press thingy, and I think that... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really cool. Um, Unfortunately, let me just say something. There is no articulation in the tail. Nothing. Nothing. Except this button, I guess. But you can't really tell that articulation. No, not really, huh? Yeah. Alright, now uh, size compare it with our human figurine, Kenji. Hold on, I'm, go I'm going to say something about the color. I like this blending up here, but I don't like how it doesn't blend in up into the neck. I get how it's like, it has to move its neck, but like you couldn't like just blend it even a little bit up here. I found that kind of weird. Yeah, but I do like the detail on it. Mm-hmm. All right, now okay. put Kenji up against its leg. That is a Kenji for size. So that's how big a human figure is compared to this large carnivore, the largest carnivore I own. And I'm just gonna, oh boy. You just witnessed an, um, an unalivement. All right, well anyways, hold on. Don't take him out of there. Here is the scan code. So pause the video here, get it into your app. And uh, please, my good sir, Thank you. Mm hmm Yep. It's a little slimy, but... Yeah. Oh, I just realized we did that out of order, but that's alright. Uh, the real first dinosaur I got is the Scorpius Rex. This one's the real first one. Sorry, I get it confused between the Indominus and the Scorpius. Because I got the Scorpius first, and then, like, a couple months later. Like, nearly, like, six months later, I got the Indominus. So I get confused which one was first. And um, and I remember you also got 
and a Adonimus. And uh, I don't. I'm not good at pronouncing. Indominus Lex toy, like when you were little and you had it for a while, but then we got rid of it in exchange for the one you just saw. Yeah, that was back when Hasbro had the right to Jurassic toys. That was um quite the a fiasco. Okay. Yeah. There were some okay figures, but and then, the neck was like made out of like rubbery plastic, and it was super weird. Yeah, but anyways, tell them about this figure. Okay, this fig figure. Oh I wait, you didn't give the rating out of ten for the Adonis. Oh, uh, what's the rating out of ten for the Adonis? I would say. Hmm. Remember, a five is like meh. A six is like it's pretty good, I guess. A seven is like I like it, but it has some flaws. An eight is really good, but wish it had more of. A nine is like. Love it, there's only one flaw. And then a 10 is like, I like it, and if there are any flaws, they're just not enough to take away from the whole figure. Uh, well, I would count this one as like, uh, 6, 7, 6.5 6. maybe. Yeah, that's, I, uh, that's pretty much what I did. I did a 7. I just mean, because I was feeling generous. All right, go ahead. I mean, I like it, but, like, I feel like they could do a lot more. Like, yeah. the tail could have more, like, more articulation. It could be really accurately sized. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I mean, this, the, the throat thing is amazing. Yeah, but That's, they did that better on the Thrash and Devour T-Rex. Oh, yeah. That came out this year. But, anyways... Moving on. Yeah. Take him away. So, this, this is like guy. This is like the Scorpius Rex. Uh, so, the Scorpius Rex. It has this thing for the little arms. Ready? I, what the? Huh. Are you, oh, there we go. You weren't pressing it all the way down, so it didn't make the sound. Oh, well, I'm over here and you're up there, so. Keep it at the dime. Yeah. Uh, but like, yeah, it just doesn't work for me, I guess. <laughs> Sully, Sully's hand is magic. Um, but I like that. But and then there's him roaring. It has three roars that are it randomly does. There isn't a pattern; it just randomly does. Them. That one's my favorite roar. Yeah, probably mine too. And this uh, one has some tail articulation. Check that out. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, you like you're supposed you to see like, that. Oh, there we go. You're supposed so. to do like this, and then like have something set up there, and let it go, and it'll like flack it, I guess. I'm sitting on concrete, and my feet hurt. Good job, man. Anyway, so. Uh, so. Yeah, I would rate this a 6.52. Wait, no, a 7. Alright, show them the foot. Oh, the foot? Oh, yeah, foot. My hands are kind of shaky. Can you, can you see that? Is that good? Here, can they see it from here? Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, even closer. And, yeah. And then human size comparison. Kenji. Kenji. As you can see, it's not as big as the Indominus, but it's definitely oversized from what the show had it at. Mm -hmm. Kenji but, would not be standing here right now. He would be running away. Yeah. Anyways, uh, the only thing I don't I dislike about it is the head. It's just not show accurate. The hands aren't show accurate either. The neck isn't show accurate. Other than that, it's really good. Anyways. Yeah, I don't really like the head because, like... The head was ugly in the show, and it made it look kind of like really cool. Yeah, but like then they, but then they like made it like pre precise and pretty and like like something you'd it, expect it, out of the Indoraptors or the Indominus. Yeah, but that wasn't the Scorpius Two X in the actual show. Sorry, we're nerding out over here. Sorry, okay. next one. Rant over. Next up, one of my my favorite dinosaur, the, the Spinosaurus. I was about to call it the Scorpius Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 
The Spinosaurus is my favorite real life dinosaur. This figure is pretty good for capturing that, but anyways, go ahead, Mena. This, this is my, like, thing. You uh, love it? Huh? No. Is that what you mean by that? No. I... Never mind. Oh, oh, I get it. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> this is my episode. Yeah, anyways, go ahead. Give us the talk about it. Okay. Well, I think, honestly, it could be a lot better. Um, yeah. I, I, the, appearance I is, the appearance is good, but, like, are you serious? You couldn't put a joint there? And, like, this, like, kind of moves. Well, it does move. It can go side to side, too. Oh, it can. And I think that's pretty cool, but they didn't do anything to the, t to the tail, the I mean, legs, the arms. No, no, there's a ball joint. Oh. On the tail. It can move. Oh, yeah. But, like, they it's, didn't... It, its tail can move on, like, some bodies. Did that last time as well. <laughs> uh, but, like, there's a ball joint here, but, like, it doesn't really go far enough to like enjoy and i personally like articulation i'm a big fan of articulation she loves good articulation yeah so like when i see stuff like this that only has like ball joints like here here and here and then like uh, a pretty good jointed articulated neck but like they couldn't do that to like the rest well, couldn't at least put another joint somewhere. I just feel like it's kind of a waste. And I mean, I think it's pretty good, but I know you're pretty critical on these things. Try pressing the button. My only gripe about it is that the button is way too hard to press. <laughs> oh, don't go. Yeah, that's hard to press. <laughs> yeah, anyways, show Kenji. Kenji likes to lick him. It's definitely bigger than the Scorpius, but not as big as the Indominus, which in the movie lore, it is... Thank you, Minnow. It is larger, larger than the Indominus by nine inches, which isn't a lot, but the Indominus is larger than it in toy form by like four inches. Look, look at this. Uh, the, you're supposed to be smaller. And... Goodbye. Now let's show them the foot and we'll move on. I, I need to give my rating. Oh yeah, give your rating, <laughs> then show them the foot. Okay, my rating would overall be a six. Eh, I give it a seven. B that's because it's your favorite dinosaur. Story. Yes, I know, I'm biased. I don't care. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll move it up here. There you go small on this one for some reason all right next up I don't Kenji care. likes to kick uh, there's a dog watching us uh, I don't know if my mom my mom will yell at me for this but like for showing her mom uh, <laughs> there's a certain dog that wants out well, anyway, come on, let's focus. You're gonna chew up all of our toys. Let's focus back on the thing. Fine. Oh, <laughs> Kalula. Next up. Next up on the thing, we have, I don't care if I'm pronouncing this wrong, the Primal Attack Status Mithrium. That's how I like to pronounce it, so. Why does he look so, like, big? He looks so big, he's not that big. It's because you've zoomed in. Oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, sorry, technical difficulties he's there. He's the smallest figure we've seen so far. So, look at the tail, man. I'll twist the tail, press the button on the tail. So, oh yeah, I forgot about this. He's pretty old, uh, but... He's an old man right now, so. But, like, he. I forgot that he did this. I think this is pretty cool. Like, he can go down and eat people. And then. And there's also a button, yeah. Yeah, a button for the mouth. It's pretty hard to press, but. My arm is probably covering it all. Let me see. It's uh, not. It's not. 
Uh, I think that's the only button. But then there's also like the arms have that extra joint that a certain spiny boy doesn't have. Yeah. Um. Gosh, the dogs are that. <laughs> yeah. And then there's this. I don't really like how the legs move uh, both times, but I but I appreciate how they at least made the legs move like up and down and not just like barely to the side like somebody. Are you talking about the Indominus? Actually multiple, but like, you know, uh, yeah. but uh, here's the comparison. As you can see, it's the smallest dinosaur we've reviewed yet. And I uh, give them a rating. Um, I would say, hmm, 7.5. 7.5? Yeah, it's the highest one I've given. You cannot slurp. He slurped. My cup. Oh, you got the gross water. Anyways, let's see that scan code. Take Kendry away. Here is the scan code. I'm probably going to watch this video back because I, I didn't actually get the game yet, but I'm probably going to get it uh, in a little bit, but I'm probably just going to watch the video back. Okay, uh, and, uh, to get the scan, but uh, next one, please. Next up, we have the, in the same series, the Primal Attack Albertosaurus, which is, fun fact, Albertosaurus is in the same family as the Tyrannosaurus and the Tyrannosaurids. Unless I'm getting that confused with Targosaurus or Gorosaurus. If I am, please correct me in the comments. Um, his name is Albert. I just decided, I just decided that. Uh, this is, so this is Albert. Minnow actually really likes Albert. Yeah, I kind of do really like Albert. Uh... It's more smooth when he, like, goes up and down like that. And the ridges, the, like, spikes going down the body, as I like to call them, scutes, they feel nice. Yeah, they like, feel... Like, rub his back, rub the back of his neck, especially. Oh. Okay, yeah, I've never done that before, but that feels pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, so he has basically everything that the other guy does. One but... thing I don't like about him as much... This is why I like, I kind of like the status matrium more. I don't know. They're pretty equal. Uh, just because the design looks really nice for that one. But the paint job on the status matrium is really good. I don't like the paint job of this one. They're like three colors. Yeah. 90% of it is green. Yeah. It's kind of very bland. And I don't really like the colors. Hold on. Is the underbelly colored? No. Oh, well, the under of the neck is, at least. Yeah, at least the under of the neck is. All right, now give them the size comparison. Oh. Kenji, not riding on his neck. Okay, fine. <laughs> There's Kenji next to it. and uh, Kenji can even knock it over. Your review? Your review on it? Um, Probably just a 7 because of the paint job. Not a 7.5 like the other one. Here's the scan code. Scanny, 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 scanny. <laughs> no, Kenji. Kenji baby. dead. Anyways, next up, the pack, the uh, pack that Kenji came with. Uh, it, it has a dinosaur, and this is what we're reviewing. But it came in a pack. The juvenile Kenji Danger Pack Scorpius Rex. That's a mouthful, and I don't even know if that's correct. Probably not. Uh, but. So this is the baby juvenile, juvenile Not really a baby, it's just like a teenager. Yeah, so that- The sub-adult, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, wait, am I showing in the picture? Sorry. I can't tell anymore. Okay, so this is the uh, Scorpius who acts juvenile. I think it's pretty cool. And I especially love the paint job. Minnow I don't know why, but I love the paint job. Yeah, Minnow is an arch uh, articulation geek. This has quite a bit of articulation. It's my first figure in my collection. Oh, oh. that really has a bunch of articulation. So, why don't you show that off, Minnow? Okay. 
So, um, there's the legs, the tail, uh, it, it has a ballpoint joint and it can actually like go a bit further than the other ones. Uh, it also has this thing. A lot of them have it, but like, just wanted to show that off. Then its neck can go down. And I feel like I'm snapping its neck. Uh, but... Try opening its mouth. Uh, that's right. Here, its head isn't in the frame. Move it over. You may want to do the neck thing again, because I don't think the head was in frame. What? It is. It wasn't before, I don't think. So oh. try the neck again, in case, just in case people can see it. So this uh. is what Minna went when she felt like she was snapping its neck, if you didn't see it. It feels, it feels like it is. Uh, Anyways. That's size the, comparison. that's the mouth. Uh, size comparison with Genji. Genji, Genji. As you can see, it's a little smaller than the adult. Here's the adult next to it. Oh. Oh, Genji. Right. Let me get the legs straight out so that it can stand on its own. As you can see, it's hard to see, but the adult is bigger. Yeah, it is. Here, look at this. There you go. That gets you a better perspective. So the adult is bigger by a bit, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my overall rating on this, because it does have uh, quite a few uh, articulation points, and because the paint job is just amazing, the head isn't that good, like I said, with the older one, but like, you know, and it's kind of just a copy paste of the other, but with different colors and smaller, but I like it. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. It doesn't deserve an eight, but it doesn't deserve a seven. So yeah. 7.5, don't forget the scale. I know, it's just turning the foot around. Can you see that? Can you see that? Do you see the foot? Yeah, they do, all right. Next up, we have Minnow's favorite dinosaur, I think. <laughs> so there might be a little bit of bias here. Mm, yeah, probably a lot of bias, but like... Let me get it in a pose where it can stand, because it has a hard time standing. There we go. The something-something Endoraptor. Okay. I just want to get closer to it, but like... I just want to say something before you start ranting about it. Okay. Way too big. Like, in the movie, it was only, like, a little bit bigger than a velociraptor. But here, it's, like, three times the size of a velociraptor. <laughs> yeah. For perspective, this guy is about the size of a Mattel velociraptor. So, way too big. Uh, so... Sorry, I wasn't listening. But, um... <laughs> um, so, we, okay. Not on Kenji! It's <laughs> more. Uh, so, this is the endoraptor. I have a little bit of favoritism. I love how long, uh, their, li their like, arms and legs are, and, like, how good you can pose him. Um, I'm just the gonna The tail is very long for this figure. Compared to other ones. And, uh... He's a thinker, huh? Yeah, he's a big thinker. What? Put him at the dime. Oh, okay. So, that's the Endoraptor. And I absolutely love, like, the paint job. And how shiny it is. Can we just talk about how shiny he is? It is pretty shiny. I love him. And I love, like, how good you can, like, adjust the poses like i you couldn't really uh, you can't really adjust the poses so much like you can with this guy he's just amazing anyways size comparison oh yeah get him on all fours oh oh gosh oh gosh Here, you set up the camera i'll get him on all fours okay kenji you need to be in screen you can't hide you can hide. You can run. No. Oh. There we go. 
that. <laughs> it's in a little bit of a wonky pose, but it works. I'm better at posing than you. G, there we go. So, yeah. Well, it's a oh. it's toe is holding. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Tallulah is back and she's attacking my mom. Yeah. Do, uh, nah. Okay. All right. So yeah. What do you rate the figure? I'm assuming like a nine, maybe an eight, maybe ten. Nine point five. Nine point five. Yeah. And here is I rated this one the least last time. I just, what? I don't know why. I don't like it. I I don't know. Why. You don't get to hold it. Hold on. Give it back. No. <laughs> no. So here is the skin coat. Can they see that? It's oh, mm. that better? Yeah, yeah. Like All right. That. So next up, give me a second because I've completely forgotten what's next. Uh, okay. Yep. Next up begins. I took a break from collecting for a while, and then I came back with the new Dominion first wave and got the Yang Chingasaurus. Still. Still probably my favorite figure of the bunch. Maybe, actually. It has some competition. I'm holding up the competition, but Minnow can only see it. Zoom out. So, yeah. so what do you think of this figure, Minnow? I absolutely love this figure. I know, me too. Maybe a little bit more than uh, my absolute favorite figure. Yeah. Um, but, like, it's, it's, it's like... It did what the primal attack did. But better. Yeah. Like the primal attack does the neck twist with the tail. And can we see that? Or is it way too close? Uh, well, you can back it up and put it put it there. Like they did the neck twist with the tail, and then they did the bite with this button here. And yeah. But with this guy, I'm sorry, I'm taking over. I just love this figure. With this guy, they did even better. The entire front half of the body moves with the tail, and the bite actually works. Oh gosh. And it can do this. It can do this. It can do this can and do this. this. It can do this and like this. It's, like it's in a stand-up roar, victory roar pose. There. Yeah, and it's super fun to fidget with. And like you can do that and this. And it can just shake its head. Um, I want to sing a song right now, but it, it'll get so I couple you. Copyrighted. And you copyrighted, because this is going to be airing on your channel as well as mine. Oh, yeah. But I would give him an overall 10. A 10 out of 10. Yeah. I told you, I liked him a bit more than my absolute favorite. And then we I just him. love the, like, Gosh. articulation on this guy. And he's so fun Stop to it, Kenji. With. Stop it. Stop, Stop it, Kenji. Kenji only listens to me. Don't make me ground you. There we go. Look, he stands up there in the ground. So it's about the same size as the Primal Attack figures. But anyways, this one is special. Scan code 8 on its foot. It's right here. You can see it, right? They can see that? Uh, There's a little indent right here. And ta-da! There's the scan code. Whoop. So go ahead and scan it into your app. And yeah. Again, again, we're using another cup to balance this. So if it falls over, yeah, it's because of the cup. It's the cup's fault, not mine. Uh, this is sure. 27 minutes long. I know. Well, there are more dinosaurs than last time. Yeah. And next Plus, up. Plus, I go on long lamps. Yeah. Next up. One of my favorites, and I'm sure one of Minnow's, the Hammond Collection uh, Baryonyx. I actually haven't gotten, like, I didn't know he was a thing until we started bringing out the dinosaurs, to be honest. <laughs> you forgot when I got him? <laughs> I guess... Very strange. By the time this video uh, uploads, it should be give them a rating out of 10. The person who's going to be rating them is...